book review on video. This time, Speak by Karin Alftegen. Uh, English title, Betrayal. Published in 2003, I think. 2004, the Norwegian edition. Uh, I read the audio edition. And you may have seen my previous video uh, about Alftegen's newest book, Betrayal. No, sorry, <laughs> Shadow. This is Betrayal. Uh, which I didn't like as much as I had expected to because of the reader. Uh, this book has a different reader. The actor is Andrina Setzer and I have to say what a difference a voice makes because this book is just... This book is so fantastic and in large part thanks to her she does a fantastic job. I would love to read any audiobook uh, that she's, um, she's recorded because I mean, I know she's a good actress, uh, but I wasn't quite aware of how much of that is in her voice. She does a fantastic job, and as a contrast to the previous Alf Tegan book, I was really impressed, because she reads it absolutely beautifully. Uh, the plot here is quite mundane, uh, much more so than in Shadow. Um, basically, uh, the main character, there are, there are two main characters, one male, one female. The female main character, she is uh, in a marriage that They've been married for 15 years, they have a son who's, I think, six, and uh, the marriage has become pretty routine, you know. You do the things you've always done, and, yeah, whatever. It's, uh, it's just, uh, every day is uh, like any other day. And, uh, their sex life is, like, non-existent, uh, but she doesn't really know that her husband is hopelessly unsatisfied, because if he was, wouldn't he have told her? Wouldn't he have actually tried to talk to her about it, since they've been together for 15 years? Wouldn't he have tried to work things out without going behind her back? So when she finds out, that's what she believes, that that's the kind of person he is. When she finds out that he has not talked to her, he has found another woman, and it's supposed to be the grand love of his life, whatever, and he has never talked to her, he's never given her any indication that he wasn't happy with their lives together, and suddenly, there's another woman, he's thinking of leaving her, leaving their son, which would mean also for her leaving their house, their perfect house that she, and he too, struggled so much to create this perfect home. Uh, she wouldn't be able to afford it on her own, so she would have to leave. They would get joint custody, I mean shared custody, and she would only see her kid half the time she, you know, she'd have to be a mother like every other week, and she hardly sees the kid now because she works so much, so... Now, this betrayal uh, that the husband has done makes her feel absolutely furious and she uh, she becomes a very good example of uh, what Shakespeare said that there that hell hath no fury like a woman scorned because she decides to really avenge herself on her husband and do whatever she can to turn the tables on him because He's a coward. He really is an enormous coward. He uh, he obviously wants to make their marriage so miserable for her that she's going to leave him. Leaving him in the clear, he'll be the wrong party and then he's free to be with his new lover. Uh, but she is determined, although she now knows everything, she's not going to let him off the hook. Uh, she's going to, on the contrary. Basically, force him to make the moves. But, uh, you know, people are people, and uh, it's hard to play us, it's hard to get us to do exactly what you want, and she discovers that, unfortunately, to her great chagrin. But, simultaneously, there's something else going on. Uh, as I said, there's another main character, a male main character, in another uh, plot thread. He um, is in what he thinks is a relationship with a woman in a coma. Uh, they were dating for a year when she had a terrible accident, she almost drowned and she's uh, in a coma and he does everything to take care of her, he practically lives at the hospital uh, and refuses to accept the fact that she's probably not going to wake up, in fact it's getting worse and worse uh, having little blood clots in the brain and she's she's not recovering, on the contrary her condition is slowly deteriorating and he, he's had a really bad life he has a lot of OCDs and he has the past history to explain it. And uh, all he wants in life is for her to
to wake up and to be with him and to touch him and love him the way she used to do. And what he perceives as a refusal to do that um, creates a lot of anger in him. So that eventually he... Uh, he also wants to avenge what he sees as a betrayal. And these two people's lives, uh, they don't know each other. They have nothing to do with each other, but at a point, their lives intersect. And that's when it gets really dangerous, because she is obsessed with her thoughts of revenge to the point where she stopped taking into account that other people have their own motives and their own reasoning. And he, he really is not mentally stable. He really needs help. But of course, like a lot of people in his situation, refuses to accept that he has a problem, so of course, he won't accept any help. Um, the ending, I thought, again, was perhaps a little overly dramatic, but as a whole, this book was just absolutely fantastic with, uh, like I said, a really mundane plot, a very mundane setting, just suburban Stockholm with people going about their lives, going to work, coming home, making dinner, picking their kids up from preschool, just doing ordinary boring things. But she just, her language is so fantastic. She's such a wonderful writer and this book was very well translated too. Um, and of course beautifully read. And just an absolutely intriguing plot. Great, great characters, and just um, one of her best novels, really. Uh, I'm not just saying that because I didn't enjoy uh, her previous book that I read as much as I'd hoped. Uh, a fantastic place to start to really see the best that this writer has to offer. Karin Ulf Tegen, uh, one of the greats of Swedish um, thriller writing. Can't recommend her enough, and this book, fantastic read, Betrayal by Karin Ulf Tegen.